It is not from the benevolence of the butcher, the brewer, or the baker that we expect our dinner, but from their regard to their own interest. Man is an animal that makes bargains. No other animal does this. No dog exchanges bones with another. As soon as the land of any country has all become private property, the landlords, like all other men, love to reap where they never sowed, and demand a rent even for its natural produce. No society can surely be flourishing and happy, of which the far greater part of the members are poor and miserable. The real tragedy of the poor is the poverty of their aspirations. On the road from the city of skepticism, I had to pass through the valley of ambiguity. Labor was the first price, the original purchase, money that was paid for all things. It was not by gold or by silver, but by labor, that all wealth of the world was originally purchased. What can be added to the happiness of a man who is in health, out of debt, and has a clear conscience? Consumption is the sole end and purpose of all production, and the interest of the producer ought to be attended to, only so far as it may be necessary for promoting that of the consumer. To feel much for others and little for ourselves, to restrain our selfishness and exercise our benevolent affections, constitute the perfection of human nature. No complaint is more common than that of a scarcity of money. Virtue is more to be feared than vice, because its excesses are not subject to the regulation of conscience. I have never known much good done by those who affected to trade for the public good. It is not by augmenting the capital of the country, but by rendering a greater part of that capital active and productive than would otherwise be so, that the most judicious operations of banking can increase the industry of the country.